Hey, what's good, guys? <laughs> we got a special video for you guys. Cooper Crabtree, this for you, boy. You said you wanted DDD Pendulums. I was super late on this, trying to find the best build. Well, I went up to you. Forget DDD Pendulums. I got you DDD PK Pendulums, spitting out five negates at ease. Five negates, six negates, hand trap don't matter. It's too easy. Uh, going first, going second. Going first, you, you really put up the, the negates through hand traps. Going second, you clear their board. You do a little tricks. I'm going to show you guys in the thing. We got a bunch of spicy cards in here. It's just so explosive. This deck, it's insane. It's 60 card fire. We're going to show you guys the deck list now. And then, we're going to show you guys duels with it. How every single hand ends in four or five negates every turn. And it's like the same board. It's two monster negates. Sorry, three monster negates. Two spell trap negates every single turn. It's All insane. Right. Let's get into this video. Let's get into it. You guys get ready for greatness. So for starters, it's 60 cards. The last one's 40. Oh, one more thing before we get into it. Shout out to my sponsor, Game Nation. Make sure to check us out. The link in the description. Follow us on Facebook. We do cool giveaways. And make sure to subscribe because at 13 carry we bring a crazy giveaway. And lastly, subscribe to Trip Fitness. So we get 1,000 subscribers. Maybe we'll start posting once a week instead of once uh, every seven months. <laughs> so let's get started now, guys. Uh, best card in the deck by landslide. Triple up duck there. Why? Because there's literally 31 spells in this deck. 34 spells in this deck. There's 34 spells in this deck. If you draw a Ductor, you're resolving. You get to search any card you want in the whole deck. That's insane. So you get, obviously, a Ductor. Some people questioned it. Well, I questioned you and your uh, knowledge of anything you get related, let alone Pendulums. Uh, triple Chronograph, Triple Cerberus, Triple Razor. These are the 12 generic generic turbo cards that are monsters alone. Abductor is as good as a turbo card. It's literally the best Pendulum in the world right now because of how many spells you can play in a deck. Uh, and playing DDs in here, it's insane. The new game plan, before we get into it, uh, for this deck, and I recommend everyone play. This is way better than my 40 card list. I, I didn't think it would be possible, uh, seeing that I just came up with it two days ago, but I've been in the lab for, for days. Not like You probably see bags under my eyes because up till 8 a.m. I don't care. I gotta get this out for you guys. 60 card, absolute perfection. So the point of the deck is simple, the new game plan. You want to send out Kepler to the extra deck no matter what. Why? Because Kepler gets contract. Contract gets Copernicus, plus two already, and then you pendulum that Copernicus and bring out the Lamia, nice plus three, and then the Lamia equals the Dragster. So how do we get those monster negates we're telling about? Maybe we'll save the spice for later. Or should we just tell you guys right now? We search these babies every single turn. That's right, the PK link is broken. Shout out Walter Jewel with the little idea there. These PK traps, you can get them every single first turn, and you get the PK link searching these two for free. For free, for free. So you end up with these two set every single time. All you need to do is open one of these turbo cards. Hello, Curtain Razor, my friend. I don't know why you guys stopped playing them. Open one of these, and you literally end up, even if you don't open, you can open one Razor and four Pendulum Garnets. You can open this, a Wisdom Eye, and three Gate Zeros, and you still have five Negates. Like, it doesn't matter what the hand is. All you need to open is literally one turbo card and one Monster to Normal Summon, and as long as the other three are Pendulums, you end up five Negates. It's literally that easy. It's a lot better than the normal three negate, two negate crap you guys see now, right? Why? Because we play the right cards. We play DDs and PKs. Uh, sending the Lamia with Electrum allows you to end with this. Lamia will bring out Dragster. Then you're going to have two monster negates. So, or sorry, a Vortex and a... Lamia with Electrum. No, send, send, send <laughs> uh, Kepler. And then you pen the Kepler or Special with Chrono. And then you bring a Copernicus, Lamia, etc., etc. Rest history. But like you guys are going to see in the video, uh, in, the, in the videos I'm going to do later. But these are the 12 turbo cards that are absolute turbo cards by themselves, plus the foolish. We're going to get into the spell. I'm going to do the spell ones now. And then we have some spell turbo cards. Foolish and three shrine. Shrine is, and foolish is busted. I love seeing two of them. And, oh, one foolish, one shrine. And let me tell you why. Because we play my good old friend Destrudo. This card's insane. Let me tell you guys why it's insane. Because this card exists. When you resolve Destrudo and Yazi going second, you auto win. You literally auto win. Hey, guess what? We play more turbo cards too. Hello, Dragon Ruby and Terraforming. This is why do people not play this card? Do people don't understand how broken this Rudo is in Pendulums? You can literally it's five five more Dragon Shrines. Obviously, you want to send the Dark Worm, but hey, you guys remember uh, Pen called Dark Worm? I feel so nice, right? But what happens when you draw one of these and send the other? Or what happens when you draw one of your discard outlets because you're playing the PKs as well? You're now playing 17 fucking thousand uh, pen call dark worms. Exodia. 
Exodia, baby. It's Exodia. Why would you not want to play as much as you possibly can? It's like a Sky Striker deck saying, uh, put, let me tell you some Triff math right here, okay? Triff math. A Sky Striker deck plays three engages. So by my math, they only have three good cards in the deck. So why would you not want to play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus seven engages? So that's nine plus seven, 16, 100% chance of victory. Simple math. Those are the turbo cards. So if you guys look now how many turbo cards that is, 3, 4, 5, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 turbo cards. Draw a dark room in conjunction with one of the 12 uh, pitch cards you could pitch with. That's 27 or something. So that's a lot. That's a lot. Quick maths. Quick maths. And now we're going to go back to the rest of the deck. Well, as you guys see, it's like it's 27 turbo cards, 25. I just, I've forgot, but it's a lot. It's more than the nine that people play now. Because people play literally nine, right? Like they play three Chrono, three Cerberus, one Foolish, one Shrine. They play eight. That's literally disgusting. You wonder why Pendulums suck? It's because you see people play those. They draw a Chronograph, the thing gets a uh, Gamma, and then just like that, it's like, like nothing. They have no follow up, no nothing. Uh, hand Trap, they can't play. But if I get Hand Trap, I keep playing for good. So we're going to move on now. Three Dark Room, one zero. Uh, I would play two Dark Room, but drawing it with the Ravine, etc., is broken, especially going second. Now the best, the plus engine, here it is. You play three Kepler, one Copernicus, the three Contract, and the Lamia. If you draw one of these or Contract, you win. It's a plus three. It's a plus three. Pendulum need more pluses to actually do something. Remember when I had three Electrums? They need pluses. So you do this, you get this, you get Copernicus, you Pendulum Copernicus, you, spend, you send Lamia to Grave, and that's how you get the free Dragster. Because you pend a dead, a dead Chrono, and I'm going to explain it more when I do the combo tutorial. Well, that's the DD engine. Uh, we're going to save this. And now, two Jackals, obviously, to resolve the, the services. And every single... You want to uh, end up with Jackal on the field because it'll be a free monster in the gate. So why not? One card. Now, we play a super small Magician engine because Magicians are Guardians by themselves. So we just play this. So two Harmonizing. You don't need three because typically you only summon one from your extra deck anyways. But just for the grind game, you want two. It's a perfect number. And one of each of these. I don't play Black Fang because it sucks. And if you actually think wisely, uh, you might as well just play what? It's a Shrink. You want to play for its Shrink effect? Like, you never actually resolve a special effect, very rarely. So it's a lot, not as good as it thinks. You need one of each of these. Seven Magicians, that's all you need. We do play next. Uh, and these are the discard outlets. You want to draw one of these every single turn. If I draw one of these every single turn, it's a free outlet to discard with the Ravine or the Pendulum Call, and you play 12 of those. So I want to play more of these. It's not enough. It's four of these and three Dark Room. It's only seven discard cards you want to draw. Uh, it's like using Pen Call Juggler back in the day. Uh, you really want to see more of these. I might up the PK count to three, like one of each. Maybe play another card that's good, like a Fairy Tail Snow. Because draw it, Pen Calling one of those cards, or, or Ravining one of those cards, getting a plus off, it's insane. That's it for the monsters. Now for the spells, uh, it's the, the same... These spells are the, the most busted ones because you have options to go into... Destrudo is one of the best cards in the deck. So you have the options to go into Dark Room, Destrudo, whichever you don't have. Dark Room option one, Destrudo number two. And going second, uh, if Yazi gets... They don't expect a Yazi. So the second you Destrudo them for Yazi, Yazi, Mare, Mare, both Nightmares, you're drawing two cards for free off the Nightmares and you're popping a card with Yazi, you're popping a card with both Nightmares. That's three cards you're stopping and you have uh, three, a Link 1, Link 2, and a Link 2 to play with. And you drew two cards just from one. Yeah, and then you go Boral Sword right after. And then you Boral Sword them. So it's like, good luck, have fun. I already won the duel before I even pen five. So those are the spells there. Next, we play six Pendulum Calls. Why? Because uh, it's like play, It's like Brilliant Fusions and Garnets. Uh, you play three Brilliant Fusion, one Garnet, right? So why would you want to play 15 Garnets? And, and, and some people play three Pendulum Call. Why would you want to play three Brilliant Fusion, aka Pendulum Call, and 15 uh, Garnets? That's what you're doing essentially with Magicians. So I realized, why not up the count of Magicians, get the powerful ones, play only one of each, so you can have the option to get whichever ones you want, get a plus one off Oath, get a plus one off Harmonizing, and play six of these, and discard the cards that are bad, or doubles of. These are absolutely insane. So we, I want to keep, the, people should do that more often. Play more of these, play more Pendulum Calls, play less Magicians. My count right now, I think, was seven Magicians, six Pendulum Calls. That's perfect. Uh, perfect number. Five is too less, nine is too much, somewhere between five, six to eight is perfect. I play seven. Next, you play three contracts. You want to see these as soon as possible. Uh, and then it, it makes it easy. You don't have to send uh, a... Uh, you don't have to send a Kepler with Electrum or Copernicus. If you draw this, you just uh, have a free Lamia and free uh, stuff. To, and they're free level darks to go into the link, rusty uh, PK link with. I'll explain more later. You know what the thing is. Uh, and then three Allure, three Desires. The whole deck's dark, so Allure is remarkable. 
and three desires obviously uh you play like five like five you play 10 engines probably you play so many different engines in this deck so if you banish two engines like let's say for example one trap one mirror mirror you just you go through a different route in the deck because there's so many different routes so if you banish one ofs who cares because you have so many different combos in the deck and lastly the two fog blades because you get them literally every single turn if you banish one who cares you, you just set the other one and get a free level three to play with and that's the main deck they're going to show extra deck Absolutely insane. Literally, it does not break. Every single turn's fire. Oh, and memory. And memory. Yes, yes, yes. And my, my dog right there, remember? And it's 60 cards. And it's so, like, when you show, like, it, it's so consistent. It's unreal. Uh, the 60, it's not just 60 monsters. Every monster brings itself out on the field. It's like playing 60 soul charges. Not really. It's like playing 60 monster reboards. <laughs> the deck's insane. Absolutely remarkable. Now, in terms of the extra deck, Electro, Underclock, and the PK. So, the, the point of this is, is very simple. You go Electro. Pendulum summon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, absolute, absolute electro going to underclock, bring a vortex. Underclock and a random monster, this, boom. Two free traps off this. You get the free vortex already, and you're left with three monsters on board. Remember the Lamia Destrudo I was telling you guys about? So one of those monsters is going to be the Jackal. Uh, Destrudo is going to go ahead and bring out another Synchro. Uh, Lamia, whichever one you have, will bring another Synchro. That's Jack Jackal, Vortex, Destrudo. Jackal, Vortex, Destrudo. Not Destrudo. Jackal, Vortex, and uh, the F.A., uh, this, uh, what's it called? Dragster. Dragster. So, Vortex and Dragster to stop two spawn traps. Jackal double fog to stop traps. Uh, good luck, our monsters. Good luck, have fun. And you still have bear, like, follow up. So, that's the whole point of it. And this is, the reason why DDs are so good for it is the DDs very simply, uh, they're all dark. So, before they suck, because the Kepler's dead, what are you going to do with a dead Kepler? You make my boy right here. That's what you do. So, the, the fusion of them is incredible, remarkable. Next, uh, the Yazi package. So Link Karibo and the two Nightmares to easily go into every single time. Even if you don't Yazi, it's still cool. And then one of each Boral, because uh, the whole deck just links like crazy. So it just why not? Like these are just so broken. But when you the games, uh, if the if they don't scoop after seeing five negates, uh, turn two you just destroy them with the Nightmares and Borals. And I always try and save the Strudo uh, for turn number two. Let's say for example they somehow clear your board, uh, and then you just uh, Yazi them and Mirror Mirror and win. Rank fours, we play two rank fours, Dweller Tornado. Uh, always Blind Dweller. Just to cheese <laughs> some people. <laughs> Inside joke at our, at, at our locals. Uh, Absolute Vortex. We don't play Meteor Burst because there's no space. It's such a tight extra deck, it's insane. Dragster, uh, Yazi. Going first, Dragster going second, save the Yazi. You don't set any of those because going second, you clear their board through Yazi, Mare Mare, etc. Normal Pendulum shenanigans, and they don't see it coming. Where that Jackal stays there, you make a Vortex out of nowhere. And then, out of nowhere, three, like... The underclock and a random dark, boom, PK, and you get two free traps out of nowhere. And, and you get to pop. Where and you get to pop, pop, yeah, except we don't play a dark spellcaster because there's no space. But if you do want to create dark spellcaster, if you, if you don't want to play Mirror Mirror, which you're, you're stupid, never mind, play Mirror Mirror. Uh, and then Omega, <laughs> because sometimes you have awkward hands and you're, you're going to want to create space just for a free interruption. That's the extra deck. Side decks are for wussies. So I hope you guys like the deck <laughs> profile. Uh, I'm going to showcase to you guys uh, how this deck goes in action in another, in another video. Shout out Cooper Crabtree again. Shout out Walter Jewel for the idea of PKs. PK DD Pendulum is insane. It's the future. Make sure to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys at the combo tutorial. Peace.